Tuning in Twitch in the Grand Tactician Civil War with our ongoing series, The Good Old Boys, following the exploits and the adventures of the Hazard County, Georgia Volunteers during the Civil War. The Hazard County, Georgia Volunteers, of course, under the command of their local hero, Lucas Beauregard Duke. And let's check in on where the Hazard County Volunteers are right now. They are part of the Army of the Shenandoah under the command of Lieutenant General Stonewall Jackson. Of course, the Army of the Shenandoah is a corps within the Grand Army, the Grand Army of the Confederacy under the command of General Robert E. Lee. And uh, the Hazard County, Georgia Volunteers are part of Edmund Kirby Smith's division. And so hopefully we will get to see them in action. They are currently at almost full strength. They have got 98 men out of action right now. Let's check in on Lucas Beauregard Duke and let's see some of his stats here. Now his cunning, his cunning is off the chart, but now, you know, um, you know, those Duke boys aren't exactly known for their administrative skills. Uh, they're more into cunning, and they're, they're more men of action. Uh, Duke boys are pretty much men of action. You're not going to find them sitting behind a desk somewhere. So, as you can see, his administration leaves a little bit to be desired here. But he didn't join the Army to be an administrator. He joined the Army along with all of his friends and and uh, his volunteers from Hazard County, Georgia, to be fighters, to be fighting men. He's not in this to be an administrator. So we're going to follow along with them. Now, at the end of last episode, we had a big battle here in Northern Virginia. And we need to check in on some of these brigades. And I do want to do a little reorganizing. Uh, number one, I had one of my... Brigades was really weak. I think I may need to send them on furlough. I think Montgomery Course's brigade is really hurting here. I think I'm going to go ahead and send these boys on furlough. They have not been on furlough at all. I think they deserve it. They're down 600 men. They took a pretty big hit in this last battle. And they have got four stars of renown. So these men definitely deserve a short furlough so I'm going to send Corses Brigade on furlough and hopefully they can get mended up and get some of their get some reinforcements to get their brigade back up to strength we're looking at, at Whiteman's division here let me go down through here man all, everybody in his division took a pretty big hit Vallejo's brigade took a pretty big hit too I may send Vallejo's brigade on furlough as well. Donaldson took a pretty big hit as well. I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to send Vallejo. I'm going to send his boys on furlough. And I'm going to go ahead and, and let Donaldson's boys. Well, he's just... Uh, he didn't actually lose that many men. I think his men have been scattered as reinforcements for other divisions. So I think he's fine. We can probably give him some. I think this actually used to be a uh, conscript brigade. So let's give him some reinforcements here. We've got some conscript reinforcements over here under the command of Colonel Gordon. Let's bring some of his boys in and refurbish Donaldson's brigade. Yeah, that'll be fine. So Whiteman will still have three brigades in his division. So that will be fine. And of course, we've got Wheeler. We've transferred him into the Army of uh, Northern Virginia. So he's on his way back to this corps, the Army of Northern Virginia Corps that is part of the Grand Army of the Confederacy. And, of course, we've got Gen uh, Major General A.P. Hill's Light Division Corps. Let's take a look-see at these guys. We haven't really gotten them involved in much action. They've kind of been one of our floating reserves here. 
I do want to slowly start getting them into some action. Now, I was going to send him down the peninsula uh, in the last episode and try to take the fort down there, but we got we had to bring we had to bring him back into Central Virginia because we had a uh, we had an incursion of the Federals. Let's just give these guys Springfield muskets. And he does, he is really heavy on the conscripts with his division. So I'm really only using them as backup, as reinforcements, as kind of covering covering the uh, some of the flanks and every and what what have you. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not I haven't been happy with the way that the cavalry corps uh, has been getting utilized uh, and of course you know it can't possibly be my fault uh, why we why we've been bungling and blundering with this cavalry corps uh, this cavalry corps has caused me more problems than it has caused me solutions I think I really would prefer to go ahead and have a cavalry division within an overall infantry corps instead of having a cavalry corps. So I think that is what I'm going to do here. Okay, we've got we've got a corps in the Army of Northern Virginia. We've got a cavalry division there. Does General ja General Jackson has got he does not have a cavalry division. He does have some independent cavalry. I'd need to give him a cavalry division. Why don't we give that to Gladden here? Okay, let's let's give that to Gladden. Let's promote Gladden up to a division commander and we will give him the cavalry division in General Jackson's Army of the Shenandoah. So for, so let's replace him with a probably a colonel Ooh, Lee is looking good. We'll replace him with Colonel Lee. We'll give Colonel Lee a promotion. We'll give him that cavalry brigade. And we will create a, another division under... I don't want it to be under Pond. I want it to be under Gladden. Yeah, right there, Gladden. And we will make this a cavalry division okay now I need a cavalry division for the army of the Rappahannock so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this division McIntosh's division that is answering currently directly to General Stewart and I'm going to put that in Beauregard's army of the Rappahannock so let's transfer them over here. And we will give him, let's see. Let's reinforce these guys. Okay. And that will that's going to free up General Stewart and his cavalry command. I think that will probably Oh, that is a brigade. Okay. Let's use these guys as reinforcements then. Who needs them the most here? We've got 1,700, 1,900. It looks like Mun Munford needs these reinforcements. Ah, that did not work. Why did that not work? Huh. Huh. Don't understand that. Well, then let's do this. Let's just move the whole. Yeah, we'll just move the whole brigade over there. I may have to wait until they're on site to try and and do it that way. Beauregard also has some conscripts that are 24 days out. And then I, that will free up General uh, General Stewart for something. I don't know what I want to do with him yet. 
I probably will use him as a core commander. He'll be oh look at those look at that renown that he has. That is just amazing. I definitely want to make use of Jeb Stewart here. Definitely as a at least a core commander. So if I have a core commander that I'm not happy with, I've got Jeb Stewart as a fallback option. Johnston looks wonderful. AP Hill looks pretty good. Of course, Stonewall Jackson is amazing as always. Beauregard, Beauregard. Beauregard, Army of the Rappahannock. Do I want to give that to Jeb Stewart? I mean, this is a this is a Virginia Corps. I really, really think I would like to give that to Jeb Stewart. We'll revisit that here in a minute. We'll revisit that. Let's see now. I think I do. I think I want to give Jeb Stewart the Army of the Rappahannock. And that will free up PGT Beauregard for command elsewhere. We may use him in the command on the uh, Atlantic Seaboard. Um, Jeb Stewart is still a Brigadier General? Absolutely not. We're promoting him up to Major General and we are giving him that core probably will end up promoting him up to lieutenant general we'll just have to see how the army of the rappahannock does under the command of jeb stewart congratulations congratulations general stewart awesome okay i'm going to uh get the get the time ticking along here i believe we've got i believe they are going to be are they retreating over here? I believe that they are. Okay, what's going on there now? I think they are retreating. I am going to send the, Ar the Army of the Shenandoah marching this direction. Let me go ahead and take a shenanigan save real quick. We're going to send the Army of the Shenandoah that direction. And who is this? This is the Army of Northern Virginia. We'll send the Army of Northern Virginia along behind him to be his reinforcements. And here is General Lee. Let's give General Lee. Uh, we'll do flying column for General Lee. And I still want the Army of the Rappahannock to get there to get there ready. What what are they doing? I don't understand what's going on here. Why am I seeing this stuff with Fort Fredericksburg? I must have misclicked something somewhere. It looks like they're in the midst of transferring, and I don't think I want that to be happening. I'm not sure exactly what I may have clicked there. May have to investigate that a little bit further. I do want to get up here, though, and get these guys out of the Shenandoah Valley. And I want to get that fort back as well. So, General Jackson, I tell you what, I don't want to force march him. His readiness has been suffering a little bit as late here. And while we're getting ready to move them, let's go see what is happening over here in Tennessee and Kentucky. We have managed to finally get control of Hopkinsville. I can't hardly believe it. We've been trying that the whole game. And we are making some slow incursions over here into western Missouri. So we are making progress over there. The Army of Tanucky is moving up into Ten uh, Kentucky. 
and I am trying to get the Army of Mississippi get their readiness back up. They are very weak. They took a couple of big, big hits in this last, uh, this the last couple of battles here along the Cumberland River. So we're going to have to be very, very careful with them boys. Very careful with them boys. General Lee, let's move you up this way. And let's move the Army of the Rappahannock up that way as well. <laughs> really want these guys to get out of the Shenandoah Valley. They're about to take Winchester. I think they are fleeing from in front of us, so that's good news. Yeah, it looks like they are fleeing from in front of us because we did defeat them in this last battle. They should be getting out of there. What's he have over here? He doesn't have much over here. 102,000 in that army. It's taken us a little while to get over this river. If I can get things settled down in northern Virginia, I want if I possibly can, I would like to get back down here on the peninsula and uh and take the Fort Monroe if at all possible. It it does kind of bug me that they have control of that down there. All right. Now, this I don't understand. I should be in a battle right here. I've got plenty of readiness, so I should definitely be able to fight this battle. All right, I'm going to just try and auto-resolve it. I think we have overwhelming numbers there. That must be against the fort there is what... Yeah, that must be what we're dealing with. Okay. I'm going to just have him assault the fort i'm gonna send the army of northern virginia over to assist and i'm going to leave the army of the rappahannock down here at the rappahannock river in culpeper still trying to get their readiness improved uh in fact i may move him down here toward this supply a little closer to that supply Yeah, we we have overwhelming force in this battle. So, yeah. Disaster at Fort Pillow. What's this all about? What's going on here? Uh-oh. They took... They are coming down toward Memphis. Did not see that coming. Okay, well, I've been moving up into Kentucky. They've been uh, coming down the river, it looks like. What does he have right there? A garrison of 75. That's not exactly much. If I can get, if I can get the Army of Mississippi's readiness back up, I'll send them over to take care of that little problem. And we're still trying to get us some supply over here in western Missouri um, and we're trying to get some supply into south central Kentucky so it looks like all of that is under control how are things going with this assault here Really need this to hurry up. I've got it on auto resolve. We are already assaulting, so I guess I could speed up. 
It's been a lot about, look at all these battle markers down here on the north, north banks of the Rappahannock River. It's been a lot of battles going on over here. Okay, General Stewart has gotten down near the supply, so he should be getting the Army of the Rappahannock back up to a status of readiness. That's not our biggest core, but I'll take it. Now, why aren't these guys... Why can't we fight these guys? General Johnson, move in on them and see if we can run these guys off. Not sure why we're glitching through this little core here. It's very, very annoying. Very annoying. Glorious victory at Fort Carlisle. That's what we wanted. We got the fort back. Now, I really want to run this first core off here. I, I feel like I'm glitching through these guys. I may have to drop a save and maybe do a restart. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, okay. It looks like we will actually get to play the battle here now. And we do have superior numbers so let's go ahead and play this little battle. These guys have, have actually been defeated previously, so this should not be a very difficult battle. Maybe we can let some of our more inexperienced troops get some experience here. And maybe the uh, Hazard County Volunteers will get a chance to see some action. Yeah, we have overwhelming numbers for this battle, but they, you know, it's not anything to sneeze at, and they may they may get very good positioning on the map, so get very superior um, positioning on the on the field of battle. They only have twenty eight thousand men. We're coming with almost eighty thousand men, so we definitely got superior numbers. Brigadier General Heintzelman <laughs> going up against Robert E. Lee. He looked as though he ought to have been and was the monarch of the world. A description of General Robert E. Lee. The monarch of the world. I don't know about that now. But I know the South was very proud of him. Oh, they do have the objective. So we are going to have to be offensive here. I don't think that's going to be a problem, though. I really don't think that's going to be a problem for us. Okay, who do we have over here? This is... Whose army is this? This is, this is, okay, this is the army of the Shenandoah under Stonewall Jackson. Let's get them into double line formation here. And I'm going to line them up along the road. Let's just line them up along the main road here. Uh, Bartow, get your division up here as well. And Lane, get your artillery up here. And then we're going to let the conscripts bring up the rear. Uh, and over here, this should be the Army of Northern Virginia under Joseph E. Johnston. We've, he's already got his men in order of battle. Let's line these guys up on this, on this road here. And we'll let them start coming in from that direction. Where is General Lee? General Lee may not... Okay. General Lee may not be on the battle. Oh, there's General Lee way over here. Okay. General Lee will bring you in on that road and let you catch up with everybody. All right. Let's get the clock moving. 
Oh, he is right there. Boy, he is. We are right on top of him right off the bat. Okay, then, Smith. Why don't you swing your boys around and line up on him this way? And Gladden, bring your cavalry division around over into the city. He's got a, yeah, he's got some parapets there as well. Okay. General Ewell, why don't you come up here to this road and we will see if we can come around. We'll come up to the, uh, to the Aludes shop and the, the Fawn Stock Farm and maybe follow this road here and try and come around behind him. Actually, we're fixing to have end of day here. So, General Lew, you, uh, you will bring your bring your boys up to the farm stock uh, farm. And where is my artillery division? Okay, that's going to be under General Lane. Lane, just bring your artillery over here. We're going to set you up on that knoll there. Okay, that will get General Jackson's men moving. Let's start moving. Let's start moving the Army of Northern Virginia up this direction. General Johnson, bring your Army of Northern Virginia on up, up the road, please. Just start bringing them on in. General Lee, why don't you get on up here into Winchester as well? Sir, we'll set your headquarters up as we're moving. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up as we maneuver here. He's got a pretty decent defensive position there, but I've got enough men. I should be able to flank him pretty easy. And I have some good roads to follow here to, to maneuver around behind him, I believe. And I am going to wait on uh, General Johnston to get on over here with his army too. Okay, there is the Hazard County Volunteers. They're facing directly into them. Uh, General Smith, let's make sure your division is set on long range. Okay, Bartow, we haven't done anything with your division yet. Bartow, bring your boys up here to the right of Smith's division. Gladden, why don't you come around to this end of Winchester and let me get a look at his right flank. He is already firing some. He has got some good position up here. Really good position on the high ground. He is firing into Smith's division. Uh, where are my... Yeah, okay, my my artillery is coming up, but I am going to be on a smaller hill than him. But my artillery is beginning to move. Let's bring our conscripts on up the road as well. General Johnson, are you moving yet? Let's get your army moving, sir. Let's get your core moving. All right, I want to see if I can get my or if my artillery can start firing at him somehow. Smith, he's lost 10 men in his division so far to their artillery. He's got excellent, excellent positioning for his artillery up here. I really, 
don't know if I want to just hang out there. Okay, here comes the Army of Northern Virginia. They are, oh, hello. Gladden, let's back your boys off. He really does have a strong, a strong line there. Gladden, back off over here to Milltown, please, with your boys. Yeah, glad and get your boys on out of there. Get your boys on out of there. Okay, it is the end of day now. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the Army of Northern Virginia right here directly facing into them. And we will set up General Jackson's Army of the Shenandoah to come in from over here so General Jackson let's line your army up over here sir I definitely want the artillery on this hill we'll put Bartos division here with conscripts behind them we'll put Ewell's division in the forest coming through the forest there and Smith's division over here on the far right and the cavalry on the far right right now let's get General Johnston's army of northern Virginia over here we will set them up in this general area let's put the artillery where do we want the artillery where do we want the artillery let's just set the artillery up on this plane right here We will put Wheeler's division here, Waitman's division there, and we will have the cavalry over here on the far right, conscripts in the back. Waitman, let's let's put your boys there. Wheeler, we'll put your boys here. General Lee, where are you, General Lee? Let's sit let's sit your headquarters up here at the Stryker Farm, sir. We'll put you about halfway in between General Johnston and General Jackson. Uh okay, let's let's get the clock going and see how this looks. It looks like he's backed off quite a bit from the objective. Okay, General Smith, go ahead and send out skirmishers. General Ewell, send out skirmishers. General Barto, send out skirmishers. General Whiteman, start bringing your division up. General Lit Wheeler, start bringing your division up. General Johnston, bring your cavalry around to the left. Let's get our skirmishers out there to occupy them as we get our infantry brigades moving. Skirmishers move up. See what you can get into. Walker, start bringing your artillery forward as well, sir. It 
looks like he's backed up considerably up the mountainside there. He does have more um, parapets, but he's off the objective. He's pretty much surrendered the objective to me over here. Maybe. We'll have to see. But I think our skirmishers are going to be able to give them some headaches up in these forests and up in these mountains. Okay, while the skirmishers are keeping them occupied, let's begin moving our brigades up as well. While the skirmishers kind of screen in front of us, you will bring your, bring your boys up through the forest. Barto, bring your boys up to the parapet, to the parapet line there. Whiteman, bring your boys up to the parapet line. Wheeler, bring your boys up to the parapet, to the original parapets. Yeah, our skirmishers are keeping them busy. Going to def oh he's already his boys are already not liking the skirmishing. Skirmishers stay on top of them. Don't let them rest. Keep moving up the side of that mountain, skirmishers. Now let me make sure that my brigades are in long range. Yes, long range. Smith, long range, please. Bartow, long range, please. Uh, Johnston, get your cavalry on over here and take the Millertown objective for me, please. Skirmishers, keep, keep pushing them. Skirmish, skirmishers keep pushing, keep attacking. Okay, uh, Gladden, let's cheat your uh, cavalry up around to the right flank, sir. Yeah, he's got parapets up here. I really don't think I'm going to have to attack him. If he, if he just lets me take the objective, I may very well force him to have to come at me. Hazard County Volunteers, they've lost 18 men so far. That's probably from the uh, artillery. Okay, you boys keep moving on up. And keep your skirmishers in front of you, please. Skirmishers, keep screening. You will, let's cheat you a little more to the right as well, please. Lane, let's bring your artillery. Let's bring your artillery around over here up to the, to the fine stock farm. I want to get you on this. I want to get that artillery on this hill right here. So let's get the artillery up around over this way, and then we're going to try and get it on this on this knoll right here overlooking them. Try and make use of our artillery. Walker, you keep bringing your artillery up to the parapet. Wheeler, bring your boys forward. Gordon, bring your uh, conscripts up. And Kennedy, bring your conscripts along behind the artillery, please. I think it looks like our skirmishers are just really keeping them busy here. Everybody's moving. Artillery is trying to get around here to the road. They're going to get, I'm going to move them up to this hill right here. Okay, Johnston, 
You're doing a wonderful job with your cavalry. Keep bringing your boys around to the left, Johnston. Okay, looks like our conscripts are... I'm going to back those conscripts up. I mean, our skirmishers, not our conscripts. I'm sorry. Smith, keep cheating your division around to the left, sir. He's doing a good job of keeping his left flank guarded. I'm going to just keep cheating around to my right, and I'm going to see if I can somehow turn his flank over there. Trying not to get in too much of a hurry. I'm trying to make, uh, trying to get, keep my artillery, let the artillery keep pace with the divisions. Bartow, go ahead and bring your boys forward down into the ravine. Whiteman, same thing. Bring your division forward. Wheeler, start bringing your division forward, sir. Skirmishers, stay on top of that, that demoralized brigade there. Don't let them rest. Don't let them rest, please. Gladden, do I want you to do a saber charge on them boys? Where'd they go? Did they disintegrate? What happened to them? I don't know what happened to that demoralized... Oh, that must be them right there. Their morale must have returned. Okay, you will... Let's bring you forward as well. And Lane, I want to get you up on this hill, so just keep coming on with your artillery, please, sir. Okay. Brian, I want you to zoom in and attack that brigade, please. Baldwin, you come forward and be ready to support him. Smith, come forward with your division. I'm going to have to let him rest after this. We are going into the forest here. But I think we're fixing to turn his flank here. If we can get a good charge in on this brigade, we may can turn his flank. I don't know what you're doing there. Just get in there and attack them, please. Uh, Lee, you come along as well, sir. You come along too. Okay, Bryant, back off. Okay, Baldwin, you back off now. Get on out of there. Lee, you try to hit them. Wheeler, start moving in on their flank that way. Whiteman, start moving up as well.
and Barto, you start moving forward, sir. Start using our skirmishers here. The enemy is retreating. Okay. Let's see now. Huh. They're retreating. Well, that's probably the smartest thing for them to do, actually. I would think. I think they see the writing on the wall here. And I, they can do some basic math. And they can probably see that this is not going to go well for them. Well, if they're going to retreat, let's go ahead and start trying to get some attacks in. Everybody attack. Everybody find someone in front of you to try and attack. Let's don't let them get away easily. Let's don't let them get away easily. pushing on them boys keep pushing they are trying to get out of here doing some rear guard action there what is your problem that's a detachment why don't you go ahead and call those boys back in please ah we've got a is this a conscript brigade I can't tell no that's Evans's brigade they are not conscripts Give them the cold steel, boys. Give them the cold steel. If he's going to show you his flank like that, just give him the cold steel. Keep giving it to him. Pour it into him, boys. Pour it into him. Stay on top of him, boys. Stay on top of him with those sabers. He is trying to get out of here. He is trying his best to get out. We are starting to get a cauldron around them here. Okay, Lee, back on off. I don't want to get you too tired. I don't know how Bryant managed to break.
Come on, boys. Let's start firing now. We're getting... We should be within range to start firing on them. Okay, give them the, give them the, give them the bayonet, boys. Give them the bayonet. Get in there and give them the bayonet, boys. Yep, we broke them. Keep giving them that bayonet. Where'd they go? Give them the bayonet, boys. Give them the bayonet. Man, this is complete confusion right here. Get in there and keep firing into them. Give them the bayonet, boys. Give them the bayonet. We got a lot of bayoneting going on right there at the crossroads there. They're coming toward you. Give them the bayonet, please. Give them that bayonet. They are running for their lives, let me tell you. Running for their lives. Keep giving them this cold steel. Let me get my cavalry in on some of these guys. Whoops, that ain't what I wanted to do. Give them the cold steel, boys. Give them the cold steel. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while we chase them on off the of the uh, battlefield. They are gone. I think that's still just a minor victory. But I'll take it. That should get them on out of Virginia if nothing else. Get on back to Maryland. Get on back to Pennsylvania. I'll tell you what, one of my best brigades in the Army is some boys from, from Maryland. We actually do have some Maryland volunteers, and I need to check on that. We may have some more volunteers from Maryland that's available. What has really been uh, getting under my craw this game is the fact that I have not been able to get any volunteers from Virginia so somehow I have completely bungled that I have not made my Virginians happy maybe if I can get AP Hill down there and take that fort at the end of the peninsula maybe that will get me some love in Virginia whatever I gotta do Colonel Bryan has fallen into disgrace we'll find then I'm going to have to deal with Brian, I guess. He did break uh, after absolutely no, nothing really happening. His brigade did break on me there.
Victory at Front Royal Bridge. All right, let's get in here and deal with Bryant before I forget about him. Let's see, he was cavalry. He is parked. There he is right here. Uh, he is not showing as being defamed. Maybe I can keep him around. I don't see that he is defamed. Think we may be okay there. I might have to wait till after the battle though, just to see if he's defamed or not. All right. Um, I think I already saw that. Okay, the Army of Shenandoah definitely does need some supplies. Let's bring them on into Winchester. The Army of Northern Virginia needs some supplies as well. Going to bring them back down toward Culpeper. We'll keep we'll keep General Lee where he is. And I'm gonna drop a shenanigan save since we've just won that battle. And let's take a quick look see over in Tennessee and see what's happening over here. We do have some drama going on on the Mississippi River. I really do need to get the Army of the Mississippi Corps over there. I just cannot get their readiness up right now. They are suffering. Their readiness is suffering. And I don't want to get the Army of Tennessee out of Kentucky right now. We do have some farms up here. I wonder if I should go ahead and send the Army of Tennessee on up to Hartford might not be a bad idea let's go ahead and send them on up to Hartford and see if we can get a little more score here out of Kentucky we've got supply here already we're trying to get these supply depots finished and over in Missouri Still working on supply there. We oh, we do desperately need that supply depot. Really need that supply depot. We've got we got too many armies trying to get the same supply here. I'm going to have to back the western army back down to this area uh and so that they're not they're not all using up the same supply. Um, he still has not gotten out of the Shenandoah Valley yet okay what's going on here now yeah you should be moving on up into Winchester please General Jackson. It's three. It's uh, three in the morning, so I guess that's one reason they're not moving. They've got another corps coming up into the up into the valley. You got to be kidding me. Well, General Jackson should be more than able to, to deal with that core that's coming. Okay. We will go ahead and assault here. Want to get them on out of here?
this game would be so cool if you could do some pe player versus player if it had that capability uh, that would really be interesting definitely would be interesting I just don't know how you could do it though how much fun would that be okay I think after this battle the readiness of the army of the Shenandoah is going to be in serious doubt here this is going to be probably the fourth or fifth straight battle that they've had to carry because the, uh, the readiness of the other corps have just been so low. The Federals just keep throwing armies at us. The Battle of Fort Carlisle. Oh, I think we fought this map before quite a bit where they have where they come at us across this little creek here. Um hmm. Where's he coming from? He's coming from way over there. I vastly outnumber him. I really doubt very seriously he would be stupid enough to try and attack me across here. But just in case, I'm going to go ahead and just play it straight. We're going to play it straight here. We'll do a parapet. Yeah, just like that. We'll build it up. Yep. And that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to worry about other breastworks. If he even, if he's dumb enough to try and come at this, then fine. I'm not going to min max him. Let's get our army organized in double line and get out here. And we will put Smith's division on the parapet I want to put the Hazard County volunteers right in the middle of the parapet there let's get them on long range we will put Magruder on his fl on his flank and we will put Jones on this flank and where's my artillery we'll put Lane's artillery there as well we'll put Ewell's division on the creek over here yeah put them on the creek we'll put Bartow's division kind of covering this direction here in case they do try to flank us from the left we'll still we'll kind of have that area covered and we will put Gladden's cavalry in back here ready to move in whichever direction they need to move and we'll go ahead and get the counter started uh, let's go ahead and deploy our skirmishers to the creek you you go ahead and deploy your skirmishers. Barto, deploy your skirmishers, sir. Let's make sure everybody is firing long range. Please. Uh, Smith. Where are you at, Smith? Make sure your boys are firing long range. Okay, now where is the enemy? I'm not sure I don't see them I'm gonna just zoom out and I'm gonna get this going really fast we're not building breastworks we're just waiting for them so we're, whichever direction they come from we're going to uh, 
We're going to maneuver to deal with them. We definitely want to get our skirmishers on the creek, though. Uh, where are your skirmishers at, sir? Send your skirmishers out. Send them to the up to the creek, please. Skirmishers to the creek. Get your skirmishers to the creek. Get your skirmishers up there. I'm just going to put you on that fence line, guarding that flank for us. Oh, here they come. Okay. Looks like they are coming directly at us. Not going to go well for him. It's not going to go well at all for him if he comes directly at us. Yeah, it looks like they are. Yeah, they're coming down the main highway. He does not have much. I don't think they're pro the smartest thing for them to do is withdraw right now. We got the Hazard County Volunteers with their Mississippi Rifles. Covering the central approaches. And he is almost at full strength with his brigade. So I don't think you want to come straight at them boys. You don't want to come at the Duke boys like that now. He's got some brigades coming. They are full strength brigades. And I've got skirmishers just waiting for them on that creek line, on that creek line there. They're going to have to fight for every inch to get through this forest. pull these skirmishers forward over in this forest area we'll try and flank them we'll try and flank them with our skirmishers just going to really make life hard for these guys he's already lost a hundred men out of that cavalry that little cavalry brigade there Yeah, my skirmishers are in excellent position here on this creek. It's going to be really, really hard to dislodge my skirmishers. Yeah, that, that little cavalry brigade's done for. All right, now let's, uh, let's see. Let's get our cavalry. Let's bring our cavalry around over here and let's see if we can get them in place to really do some mopping up yeah we're going to try and do some serious mopping up with our cavalry here we're going to swing our cavalry around follow these roads and maybe come in behind them as they're breaking and just start sabering the daylights out of these guys as they're as they're retreating that's exactly what we're going to do I think the South is starting to is starting to decide they're going to start trying to to uh, run up the score a little bit and try and win this war. Now this should be where where are the has okay this is the Hazard County Volunteers skirmishers here right on the creek line. 
Yeah, they are doing some serious work with those long-range Mississippi rifles. They've already broken that brigade. They've already demoralized that brigade completely. Those boys, they're like, no, we don't want it. We don't even want to go in there. We don't want any of this. We don't want any of this. Now, we've actually got skirmishers over here that we haven't really even brought in yet on their flanks. So let's bring those guys a little bit closer. Really make life hard on them. I don't think they're going to get anywhere near our parapet here. They are not even going to get close to our parapet. Okay, they're coming at, at Duke's skirmishers here on the creek again. They are in good condition. Excellent condition. They've got good cover in the underbrush. Doing excellent work for us. Excellent work against these federal brigades. They're fresh. They've been on furlough. They're finally back from Georgia from a really long furlough where they got to drink some of Aunt Daisy's sweet tea with, with moonshine. And they are ready to do some fighting. And this is going to be the second brigade that they've broken from this excellent position on the creek here. These um, federal troops just can't even hardly see them. They, they're having to march into this forest blind. Yeah, they don't want to have anything to do with this right here. Pour it into them, boys. Pour it into them. This Federal Brigade has lost 350 men already. Lucas, Lucas has only lost six men. Yeah, he just broke those guys. All right, let's bring, let's swing these other, that's a whole brigade. That's not, that's not a, where are your skirmishers? We, we've got an entire brigade over here. Are these conscripts? No, those are, those are not conscripts. That's fine. We're going to bring Fry's brigade forward. Along with these skirmishers. And we are really going to make life tough on these guys. Gladden, continue to bring your cavalry up the road here. We're going to do some we're going to do some charging. Bartow, go ahead and start bringing your division forward as well, please. And go ahead and pull your skirmishers in. Okay, he's about to break his third brigade here. Third federal brigade he's about to break. He's only lost 11 men firing from this from this concealment on this creek here. Good job, Lucas. Good job, buddy. Good job, Lucas. Our skirmishers are just kicking tail. You will, I'm going to bring your division across the creek. Go ahead and bring your division across the creek. You will, we will, we're fixing to start pursuing these guys. They should start retreating immediately. I better hurry up and get my cavalry around here. Gladden, please hurry up with your cavalry. We need you. Glad and bring your cavalry on up to the Bufflick Road. 
They're fixing to retreat. Okay, skirmishers, pursue them, please. Start pursuing them. Skirmishers, start pursuing. Everybody find someone to pursue. Someone to attack, please. Fry, bring your brigade forward and start pursuing with your entire brigade. Yule is bringing his division across the creek, but this, he's going to be very tired by the time he gets across there. Uh, Lucas, bring your skirmishers across the creek and start pursuing them. Everybody pursue. Everybody pursue, please. Lucas, come forward and pursue. We're going to win this with our... Ooh, what are you guys upset about? Just keep pouring it into them, boys. Keep pouring it into them. losing a lot in that brigade. Keep pursuing them, boys. Keep pursuing them. Okay, you do a fighting withdrawal. They are... Everybody keep pursuing them, please. Lucas, keep pursuing. Where's my cavalry? He has still not retreated yet. That's a big mistake on his part. Cavalry, keep moving on up. Barto, bring your division across. You will bring your division forward, sir. Skirmisher, yeah, he's retreating now. Skirmishers, keep attacking. Keep the pressure on them, skirmishers. Keep the pressure on. Where's my cavalry? Cavalry, get over here and help as quickly as you can. Skirmishers, keep pursuing them. Cavalry, get over here and give somebody the saber. Give some of these guys the saber, please.
Okay, they are broken. Every unit he has is broken. He's lost three. He's lost that that brigade there has lost half its strength. Basically, okay, I need my cavalry to get in here and start sabering some dudes now. Saber them. Saber them. Let's get those sabers flying, boys. Get the sabers flying. Oh, they didn't like that at all. Stay on top of them, boys, with those sabers. Keep those sabers flying. You get that brigade there. Give them the saber. Give them the saber. Stay on top of him with those sabers. Look at the oh, look at this death zone right here. These guys are being annihilated. The main thing I need to worry about is my cavalry units getting exhausted. Get over here and help them. Get over here and help them, please. Help them. Keep those sabers flying. Keep them flying. Brian, get in there and help. Get in there and help him. Keep sabering them. Brian, help him. Help him. Brian, how, how are you broken? Go, go saber those guys right there. They're routing. You ought to be able to do that. Saber those boys right there. That's all, they're all yours. Get in there and get them. They're all yours, Brian. Get in there and get them. Let's see how he does. Stay on top of them with those sabers. Get in there and get them, Brian. Okay, Brian, come back and get that brigade there. You come back and get these guys. They're running right toward you. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I think with the uh, saber charges, we, we really ran up the score there. We, did, we turned it into a major victory. We lost 127 men. They lost 5,000. Wow. And most of that were, was the cavalry mopping up these routing units with sabers. If I had gotten that cavalry around there sooner, we would have gotten a lot more of them. 
I tell you what, man, you don't want a cavalry running you down whenever you're routing. That was not a good thing in Napoleonic warfare to route when there was cavalry anywhere around. They took a big hit on their morale with that, with that victory. I don't think we had anybody get defamed there. That's good. Is that finally going to clear them out of the Shenandoah Valley? We've still got this one core down here that will not go away. Let's drop a save. Oh, our readiness is dropping so quickly. I'm going to have to let him rest his men just a minute, and then I may send him down here after this core. They do have 24,000 men. I really don't need to let them sit there. I need to get them out of the Shenandoah Valley. Okay, let's get time ticking along here. What does he have up there? Second Corps. They've only got 5,000 men. I'm going to let this army rest for just a couple of days. And I may march them up the Shenandoah Valley to try and run these guys off. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go see what's happening in Tennessee. Uh, still trying to get the Army of Mississippi up to reasonable readiness. It's just not happening. What about our supply depots? We're almost finished with the supply depots. It is just painstakingly slow. Okay, we're just going to let them, what's, what's his, yeah, he is taking attrition there, riots in major cities, okay, we do have projects available, let's look at some of this, let's look at our projects and see if we have anything good, especially if there's anything good in the civilian sector. We've got suppressed population. Don't think I want to do that. I don't have anything available in the military. I'm going to wait for something better. I don't really have any conquered states, so I don't think I need the suppress the population uh, project right now. Are there any policies that I can follow here that are worthwhile um, the only one available is conscription and I don't want I don't think I need to do that I could do letters of marquee it marquee and reprisal provides government permission for a private person to attack and capture vessels that belong to a nation the government is at war with. We will affect Union Sea Trade with that. Why don't we... Why, why not? Why not? 
We're not doing anything else. Let's do that. Let's start affecting their trade, and maybe that will hurt their morale even more here. All right, let's get time ticking along. Uh, the we we've got to get we've got to get some rest and recuperation going on here in Virginia. The Army of the Rappahannock is slowly starting to get them to get some of their supplies back. Slowly. Army of Northern Virginia is not in the greatest of condition. Army of Shenandoah is in yellow. I'm going to let him rest just a couple of days, and then I'm going to see if we can send him down here to run off this little federal corps down here. And the army that I'm the most concerned about, of course, is the Army of the Mississippi. They took some big hits. Big, big hits. Last couple of episodes. Let's go in and give him a look-see here. This is General Walker. Here he is right here. Now, he's got a division that is away on furlough. How far? long will it take they're still going to be gone for 50 days so basically two months we've still got two months left before we see maxi greg's division back they are so weakened and underpowered his division just took a big hit in the battle on the, of the rump side trebo is on furlough he is really diminished. Ripley is on furlough. His boys are diminished. They're all back in Texas right now. We've got, who is that coming in? That's Olmstead. How far, how far out is he? He's 17 days out, so we'll be getting Olmstead back soon. He'll, he'll be coming in soon. Ah, we just got to let that army, we got to let this army recuperate. They're just now about to get into the orange okay McCullough is at his destination I really need to send the army of the Mississippi over here uh, to protect Memphis I've just kinda got a severe hole in my lines right here that they could definitely exploit if they wanted to and I don't really have anybody available to send over there to plug that hole. Don't have anybody. I could maybe break off a division. Maybe one division from the Army of Mississippi. I don't think so. I better just keep them intact. All right, so the Army of Tennessee has made their way up here. What do we want to do with these guys? Do we want to... What do we want to do with them? Do I want to move up here toward, toward Louisville? Do we want to do that? Maybe. He's got 62,000 men. I think I'm, I better do something with him. And he will have support from the Army of Tanucky. What does he have up here? He's got... He's got 18,000 men there. Let's send the Army of Tennessee toward Louisville. They've got the Army of Tanucky near, near close enough to give them some support. All of those, ma those major core units that we had fought on the Cumberland, they all retreated back up this way toward Illinois. So I know they've got power around Cairo here. I know they've got power around Cairo. I really would like to draw them back this way. 
I really hope they're not sending all that stuff down into Mississippi. I have to really kind of hope that. Uh, I've really, I got to get this army up to strength. He's in the orange now. Uh, maybe if I can just get him over this way. If I can get him over this way to this supply, he'll be close enough. Maybe I should do that. No, I better just leave him well enough alone. Let him rest. Let his men rest. Let's get their readiness up. Let's keep our focus on what's going on up here in Kentucky. And is there anything going on over here? Okay, I think we've let the army of the Shenandoah rest a good little bit. Let's send them down here after this first core. And let's see if we can run these guys out of the Shenandoah Valley. Oh, man. The army of the Rappahannock just cannot get their readiness up. It is taking forever. The Army of Northern Virginia is looking pretty good. They are only they only have about 26,000 men though. Really need to get him some more units in the Army of Northern Virginia. Let's give them a look see see if maybe we can recruit some somebody this is General Johnston. He does have some boys off on furlough. We might want to go ahead and give him another division here. Maybe Pelham. Pelham might be a good. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Pelham. We need to give, get, give Pelham a division. Whiteman isn't that strong. Beckham looks good, too. We're definitely giving Pelham his own division. So let's replace him right now. Do we have anybody decent that can take his place? His men are not going to be happy with anybody that we give this brigade to. That's for sure. We have no colonels. We have nobody available right now. hard away that's not we don't want to do that okay let's back up here let's back up okay got Beckham Davidson and Johnson maybe we can replace Davidson with somebody and then give Davidson Bel Pelham's unit Look at the renown on these guys. They are not going to be happy with anybody. There, there is no commander these men would be satisfied with. But I can't keep Pelham. Look at this guy. Look at him. I cannot keep him in command of a brigade. I can't do it. I can't. So we're going to... We're going to give... Davidson Pelham's brigade so I got to give somebody Davidson's brigade so let's replace Davidson I do not have a brigadier general do I have a colonel there is no colonel there are no lieutenant colonels I have a captain Perrin I've got a captain Rhett Bratton maybe Walker. I think it's going to have to be Walker. Promote him up to Colonel. We will give him Davidson's brigade, and then we will let Davidson take Pelham's place. Where are you at, Davidson? I just freed you up. There you are. We will give Davidson Pelham's brigade. And then... Let 
we will create a new division and it should yeah it will be Pelham and we will let Davidson be we will take Davidson and his uh, brigade the um, the glorious brigade that which was Pelham's brigade we will put them in Pelham's division so they will still be with Pelham and we're going to have to start recruiting and let's give him let's see who else can we give him why don't we go ahead and give him Johnson as well okay so these two divisions both each of them need to recruit somebody okay who do we have available in the east do we have any more Maryland boys? We've got enough for one brigade from Maryland. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's give let's get a brigade from from Maryland. Some volunteers from Maryland. What's a good Maryland uniform? Those look like some stiff upper lip boys right there. We'll let those be some boys from Maryland. And since they are northerners, we'll give them some blue pants. How about that? We'll give them some bright blue pants. And we will get a mid-sized brigade. And we have just enough boys from Maryland to fill out that brigade. So we'll recruit them. They will come in under the command of Taylor. Yeah, that's fine. And let's upgrade their weapons. We will give them... All we can give them right now are the Springfield muskets. Okay, and Pelham, we need to get him a... We need to get him another brigade. Let's get him... A brigade from I guess we could get him some South Carolinians that's available South Carolina we got West Virginia I guess it's gonna have to be South Carolina okay And we will have to give them it's gonna have to be Springfield muskets till we get those reboard muskets in that's all we can do all right so we've got two new brigades coming in we still have got let's probably get some more conscripts let's bring in another brigade of conscripts uh, we'll bring in some North Carolina conscripts. We'll give them the red trousers. We'll get 3,000 conscripts. Go ahead and draft them. We'll give them Springfield muskets. Okay. That will slowly build up the Army of Northern Virginia Corps. Yeah, the Army of Northern Virginia Corps will slowly be built up. I would really like A.P. Hill for his little division. He probably needs at least a cavalry brigade. Let's get him a cavalry brigade. Uh, let's see. West Virginia... I want to keep my West Virginians in West Virginia. Don't have any volunteers. I've got some South Carolina volunteers. We're going to have to go back to our South Carolina boys here. Yeah, we can get them. That's fine. And I, they're the volunteers, so they get the soldier bottoms. And we'll give them 
the we'll give them some Henry rifles, some captured Henry rifles. That will be for AP Hill's light division. General Jackson is in decent shape right now. General Stewart, some of his boys are gone on on furlough. I think we're just going to have to let well enough be for now. That's going to be enough for now. We've got the clock continuing to tick. Okay, Jackson's fixing to move up the valley. Try to run those boys off. Wow, we just lost that supply depot. That is so annoying. So very, very annoying. I have a good mind to send the what do we have here now okay this is General Jackson uh, moving in to attack that army in the Shenandoah Valley up here yeah right there okay looks like we deal we do have superior numbers that is Heintzelman still still General Heintzelman we do have some we do have low morale though. We have some low morale issues we're going to have to deal with here. Going to have to be very careful. He has 25,000 men. We do outnumber him, but we do have low morale, so. Battle of Strasbourg. Strasbourg. Let's see, he was the true type of all great soldiers, like the successful warriors of the world. He did not value, I didn't get to read all that. Okay, looks like we, at, we do have command of the objectives. He's going to have to attack us, and it looks like he's just going to have to, wow, look at this defensive position here. We've got rivers and creeks on either side of us. He's going to pretty much just going to have to come straight at us. Wow. I'll take that any day. Excellent field of, of fire for our artillery. Guess what I'm going to be doing? You guessed it. Parapets. Absolutely. We're going to do a parapet just like that. And we'll do, just to be safe, we'll do some breastworks as well. Why not? All right. Boy, I tell you what, this is not going to be fun for them at all. There is nothing about this that's going to be fun for them. Okay, where are you at, General Smith? Let's get your boys on the main line. I want to get I want to get Lucas Beauregard Duke right in the center of that parapet. Let's see. Let's get him right in the center there of the parapet. All right, so we've got the Hazard County Volunteers right in the center of our line. That's what we're going to build our entire defense off of. General Smith, let's get your boys firing long range. 
Look at that firing range they have with that those Mississippi rifles. It's going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and get our cannons on the parapets as well. Yep. What a field of fire that they are going to have. We will put General er Ewell on the right. We will put General Bartow on the left and let them finish those breastworks. And we will... I'm going to get my cavalry over here off to the side so I can maneuver them around back so that we can exploit uh, anybody that is routing or retreating. We can exploit that and maybe give somebody the saber here. Okay, we're going to get time ticking, and I'm going to get these boys to work on these breastworks over here. Y'all get to work on those breastworks, please. Let's see if we can see where the enemy is. He's got to come straight at us, pretty much. Where is he coming in at? He's Oh, he's coming in from way over here. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. He's coming. He's on this road here. I can't tell which way he's going, though. But I do hear him, and I don't... I can't tell exactly what he's doing. Uh, he may... Okay, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and speed this up while we work on the breastworks. He may try to flank me from this way. He can't really flank me. He's got to get across this river. Uh, if he tries coming all the way around uh, like this, that would just be insane. I don't think that would happen. Let's just work on our breastworks and wait for him. Save our energy. He's got a long way to march. I'm going to speed this up to full speed while we wait and while our boys work on breastworks. I'm going to zoom on out so I can see what's going on. Keep my finger on the pause button. Keep our finger on the pause button. They're still building those breastworks on either flank here. I'll zoom in and see if I can see anything or hear anything. Okay, here they come there. They are coming along the river. Uh, it looks like he is fixing to come into, he's probably going to come straight at me. Okay, they're still working on breastworks over here. It looks like these breastworks are done. So, Evans, let's bring your boys up to the parapet there. Ramser, we're going to back your boys off and we're going to let Fagan stay there. And you boys, y'all haven't even been working over here, have you? You have not even been working on the breastworks. Get to work on those breastworks. Speed things back up. He's still coming along the river. I can see the dust clouds, but that's about it. He is he's actually cutting across country here. 
Yeah, he's fixing to come into the area between the rivers right about there. Then he's going to come down the main road straight into the has to the fire of the Hazard County Volunteers who are sitting here waiting for you, my friend. I don't think you want to come that way. I can see their dust clouds now cha uh, crossing the river up there. Yep, I can see them coming to cross the river. I see dust clouds on the horizon, boys. Dust clouds on the horizon. They're still working on these breastworks on the left. I think they're done. I'm going to slow this down. Who's got the better weapons? Okay, you back off. Okay, here they come. They're, they're coming straight up the gullet. Absolutely. They are coming straight up. The only thing that can make this better would be if I could have, if I'd had enough engineering points to build entanglements out here. Just did not have quite enough engineering points to build the entanglements. Um, do I want to send out skirmishers? Why not? General Smith, send out your skirmishers. General Ewell, send out your skirmishers, sir. General Bartow, release the skirmishers. Release the skirmishers. The skirmishers have been released. You get on out there, please. Skirmishers get on out there and make their life miserable. Skirmishers advance. Get on out there and make their lives absolutely miserable. Is there a fence line? Yeah, get on that fence line. Get on that fence line and make them miserable, please. That is... Those are Lucas's skirmishers there. Looks like the artillery has found the range. Uh, Elsie, why don't you get on the parapet right there, please? Get over there and help. Okay, Gladden bring your cavalry up to the main road I'm gonna try and cheat you around behind them so we can get some good saber charges in on these guys when things inevitably start going against them skirmishers come forward Stay on them, please. You come up to the fence line. Those guys are already starting to wonder what about their bad choices in life. Stay on them, Magruder. Keep up the pressure, please. I better get my cavalry moving. I think we're going to need them sooner than later.
keep the pressure on them boys. Skirmishers, get on up here. Don't let them rest. He's trying to charge my skirmishers. Don't let them boys rest now. These guys right here are seriously rethinking their life choices. They they're getting fired at literally from four different directions. Four different directions. They don't know who to line up on. Okay, he's got some serious power starting to come down the pike and now I'm going to start backing up some skirmishers here and we're just going to make them fight their way down the down the plane toward the parapet by the time they finally get to the parapet they are going to be utterly exhausted utterly exhausted and demoralized if they even make it that far where's my cavalry okay gladden Gladden, 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 what do I want to do with you? Gladden, let's bring you, do I have time? Do I have time to bring Gladden around behind them? Gladden, oop, who's he got coming right there? That's interesting. Was not expecting that. They are suffering, though. We may can exploit that. Once they get through that forest, they're going to be absolutely exhausted. I may pounce on him with my cavalry. Just going to have to keep an eye on that. I don't want to forget about that. I don't need to let myself forget about that. Okay, skirmishers, keep on fighting them, boys. Keep on fighting them. Just do a fighting withdrawal if you can. You boys keep falling back. Just fall back to the fence line. You boys over here keep falling back as well. Make them fight for every inch of ground, boys. Every inch of ground. Make them fight for it. These guys over here are going to be utterly exhausted. Spread out, cavalry. Be it ready for them. By the time they clear that forest and start trying to trying to get across this creek right here, I'm going to pounce on them with this cavalry. Y'all get ready for them over there. These guys have already broke. Things are not going their way. They haven't even gotten to the parapet yet. I do not want to forget about these guys.
I'm going to let the skirmishers fight just a little bit longer, and then I'm going to pull the skirmishers back in. Skirmishers are doing an excellent job, though. Excellent job, skirmishers. Okay, while we're waiting on those guys, why don't you come over here and saber. Saber these boys. Get over there and saber them. Keep backing up, Evans. Okay, y'all keep backing up. Keep backing up. Uh, you're, you're supposed to be... Oh, really? So annoying. Fine. Just attack these guys, please. You attack them as well. Skirmishers keep backing up. Okay, Duke, call your skirmishers in, sir. All right, everybody call your skirmishers in. You will call your skirmishers in. Bartow, call your skirmishers in. Baldwin, get over there and help him. They're broke. Give them the saber. Give them the saber. Get in there and saber them. You try to chase down that cavalry unit if you can. Give them the saber, boys. Give them the saber. How are we doing over here? Okay, he's coming into the parapet now. Uh, Duke, what are you doing? Duke, get back. What are you doing, Duke? Get back on that parapet. Uh-uh. Wait, what? Uh uh. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? Why can I not give you commands? What are you doing? What are you. No, no. No, no. No, I don't know what you're doing, but I want you to halt. Whatever you're doing. And what are you doing? Halt. I have no idea what's going on there, but I need you to halt. Halt, please. Halt, please. Get back on that parapet. Get, oh, my God. Get on that parapet. You get back on the par Get back on that parapet. Hate when that kind of stuff happens right there. Okay, are y'all are y'all sabering these guys? Just keep giving them that saber. 
Keep giving them that saber. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? What are you freaking halt? You, get back on the parapets. Duke, get your boys back on the parapets. What are you doing over here? What in the world are you doing? Halt. Oh my God, please halt, please. Please stop whatever you're doing and get back on these parapets. Now these guys are going to be tired from moving around, when, uh, wasting motion when they had no reason to be doing anything like that. Get back on those parapets. So annoying. Okay, these guys are tired over here. Gonna have to let them rest. You, uh, if you don't get on those parapets, get your tail, get on those freaking parapets. Lucas about to get on my final, my last nerve here. I I can't get Evan. Uh, Evans, yes, please get on the parapets where I told you to get. Now you're fixing to get you're fixing to get your flank exposed to these guys coming up behind you. Oh, so annoying. And you you can orient yourself that way to help cover his flank while he is out of position here. So freaking out of position. Evans, what are you doing? Thank you. Not a moment too soon. And you should be firing long range. Evans finally got his boys organized. We are getting some grape shot into them, though, and some uh, canister canister shot into them. Those guys are broke. Are my how are my cavalry units doing? We are still tired. Let me get a cavalry unit across the river. You guys can come forward. That'll be fine. Come forward, please. Nobody's dumb enough to come at the Hazard County Volunteers directly. Go. What? Why can't I move that brigade? I don't even know. Don't even know. We're definitely getting some canister shot into these guys.
Okay, do I have another cavalry brigade? Let's get you closer. Come on across the river. Hazard County Volunteers, please go long range. All right, you'll just your boys are rump, rumping and raring to go. Let's bring let's bring your boys out. Let's start bringing your boys out. We're bringing the cavalry, Barto. Let's bring your boys out too on each flank. Start advancing with your boys. Lee. Go chase down some of those uh, routing units. Uh, Baldwin, you come across the river as well. Get over here and help Lee chase down routing units. Okay, uh, Brian, you get your boys across the river. And General Gladden, you get across the river as well. Don't know what is going on with your alignment. He's... Okay, please align and attack. What are you even doing? I can't control his alignment for some reason. He's glitching on me. Cavalry, you get back here and start harassing these guys that are broken back there. I don't know what I don't know what Fagan's problem is. I can't control his alignment. Fortunately, though, he hasn't lost any men. Evans, you're going to have to move up to take his place. Okay, cavalry units. Start giving some boys the saber, please. Give them the saber. Brian, you get on up here as quick as you can. Oh, I keep forgetting that cavalry units cannot jump fences. Well, you go give them the saber then. Baldwin, get down in here and give them the saber.
Okay, they're retreating. That's fine. Let's, let's just try and do as much damage to them as we can. I don't want to have to fight them again anytime soon. Give them the saber. Get in there and get them, Lee. Get in there and get them. Charge them, Lee. Break them. Give him the saber, Lee. He won't get in on top of them. Lee, you got to get in there. Get in there. Don't stop. Don't stop. Get on top of them. Charge them. You're about to break them. Get on top of them. Okay, he broke them. He broke them. Keep giving them that saber, Lee. Brian, you chase somebody down. Give them the saber. Uh, Baldwin, how are you doing? Stay on top of these guys. Everybody else, find somebody directly in front of you to attack, please. Find somebody directly in front of you to attack. Baldwin, stay on top of that brigade that is routing. I'm sending you some help up here. Lee, you keep on doing your thing too. Okay, my cavalry units are starting to get tired and they're about to get flanked as well give them the cold steel boys uh oh he is he is charging he is charging that full strength brigade right there that was not expecting that Baldwin that was a mistake why did you do that you just broke your men and got a lot of men killed well he hasn't lost that many men Baldwin I had I had infantry units coming up to deal with these guys just get out of there now get out of there Get out of there, Baldwin. I hope you're not defamed because of this. I hope he doesn't get defamed over that. He did not lose that many men, but he should not have charged that brigade. He should not have charged them. Okay, you boys are too tired. Just get on out of there. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to speed this on up while they while they retreat. Now wait a minute. Now who is this chart? Who is this coming across the freaking river down here? Hang on now. Who is this coming across the river like a dummy? I do have some conscripts there ready to to take him on. Come on, conscripts, do your thing. Let's see how you do. Conscripts in their in their red pants taking on this glitching brigade that tried to cross the river behind me. All right, conscripts, this is all you. Come on, show them how it's done. 
I wonder if I could get them to. Do you boys want to do a, a bayonet charge? They're actually good for a, a perk. Let's give them a perk. We've got the Hazard County Volunteers over here. Conscripts. Give them the bayonet, boys. Give them the bayonet. Let's see these conscripts do a bayonet charge. Give them the bayonet. Bo oh, they broke them. They freaking broke them. I can't believe it. Stay on top of them, boys. Stay on top of them. Keep giving them that bayonet. Man, he lost a lot of men there. It's still just a minor victory, though. Uh, they've got the, those are some of the guys with the Zouave uniforms. I don't know what to think about those Zouave uniforms. <laughs> those, are some, those are some freaky looking uniforms, man. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the Zouave. I don't get the Zouave uniforms. You know, different strokes for different folks, though. Different. Ah, uh, Baldwin did. He did get disgraced. Well, dang it. He was doing well, too. And then he made that ill-fated charge against that full-strength brigade and just broke his men. What a shame. What a shame. He got his blood up and decided to charge one too many charges. Yeah, you can't blame that one on me, Baldwin. I did not order you to make that charge. You can't blame me for that one. Let's make sure that he did get defamed. Sometimes it says they are, but they aren't. Let's go in here and see for sure. Where is he? He is right here. Ah, yeah, he is defamed. Okay, I'm going to have to replace him. He's a brigadier general, too. Dang it. Do I have a colonel? Do I have a captain? Gonna have to promote Jackson up to Colonel and we'll give him that brigade. Well, what a shame. Brian is defamed too from the battle before. I'm gonna have to replace him as well. Dang. Uh, we got Sears. He's going to have to do, I guess. We'll give it to Sears. Man, we're going through some going through some commanders with these cavalry units. All right, we're going to drop a save here. And I guess that's going to be enough for this episode. We have had some small minor battles, nothing overly major. But we are building up to some drama that will be coming along. We did get to see the Hazard County Volunteers in action, though it was pretty easy for them. They weren't really being challenged. Who is that coming along there? They weren't really being that challenged, but they are starting to kind of get their feet back in the fire. So we'll go ahead and call it quits for this little episode. It's kind of a little more of a low-key episode considering some of the dramatic episodes that we have had here recently. But I will go ahead and get this uploaded to YouTube. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Howie, thanks. I'm seeing your, your comment in there, man. Sorry I, didn't, I did not comment sooner. Appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. 
please check out the entire season on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Mecca Watt on YouTube, and you can catch this series all the way back from episode number one. It's been a lot of fun, uh, and we are slowly beginning to move the uh, uh, the I don't know what you call it the victory ticker more in the direction of the south. I think we're going to start trying to really get that move in our direction and go ahead and try to win this war. We are well into mid-1863. Uh, I was saying that I would like to get it on into 1864, so we'll see if we can get there. And if, if we don't win quick enough, we may very well get into 1865. But I would like to win the battle, uh, win the war at least into 1864 unless something really crazy happens and the, the Union starts sending just untold numbers of hordes against us. I think we are looking pretty good, so hang in there with me, guys, and I will see you next time. Good night.